Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this video, we'll be looking at how to calculate the elapsed time between two dates. Uh, I'm building this video on the advice given by Bob Hawken on the uh, Microsoft Excel users uh, group on LinkedIn. So thank you very much, Bob. Uh, this is basically the visual representation of what uh, Bob has suggested. So you have two dates uh, and you want to calculate how much time is uh, pass between the two dates and you could do it but just by um, uh, subtracting one from the other uh, but that will give you a number in Excel um, this gives you it gives you a better resolution by providing the years months and days between those two dates uh, the syntax is date diff and then you need to put input the two dates which in this case are uh, uh, in cell B3 and B4 and then you need to put a interval uh, just to, for Excel to give you a number. The interval that you put in here as you can see from these cells uh, relies on a code in this particular case years etc etc and you can use these codes to clarify what you want so for instance if you want to put have just the months you would put M and this will give you the number of months elapsed between the two dates so if it's more than a year it will give you a number bigger than 12 uh, and then you could have days you could have years in our particular case we will be using uh, years on the first uh, uh, calculation so this will give you five years in this particular case uh, then for months you can use the interval ym YM basically gives you the months but excluding the years so how many months in the remainder of uh, the period of time over the five years in our particular case four months and similarly for days how many days are left once you calculated both the years and the months and you do that by using MD uh, so basically by using these intervals and these codes you're able to calculate that for instance between the 15th of March 2007 random date uh, I'm recording the this video today 23rd of the 7 2012 uh, we have there's been five years four months and eight days and just to recap you, you do this by using the date diff function